Okay, so choose a key. Uh, yeah, so so choose, like choose a key on. Yeah, 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 that'll work. And just hold it. So this is cricket through the air. 10,000 years ago, humankind teetered on the edge of extinction. There's nothing good about snakes. <laughs> So in case anyone's really unfamiliar with cricket, we're not we're not at the cricket stage yet. In case you guys thought you'd missed it or anything, this is still the development of cricket. In 1977, the game was finally perfected and became humankind's most beloved pastime. resources dwindled, humankind took cricket to the stars.
shit, no. Now we have to kill each other again. <laughs> <laughs> Little mood lighting. <laughs> oh, there's gravity. Oh. I clearly don't want to talk about the gravity. <laughs> That's so brutal. Across the universe, humanity and cricket continue to evolve. Let's hear it for our two exhibitionists. Thank you very much. game as it stands today um, it, it kind of it started in an eight-hour jam about three years ago and it looks quite it looked quite different back then I kind of just want to um, give you guys an idea of uh, the epicness of um, the first version of this game um, how much have you played of this jam um, are you gonna be a reasonable competitor here I, I mean is there such a thing <laughs> Uh, not not a lot, but I'll oh yeah, okay. I'll fi I'll figure it okay, out. We'll just go through this real quick. Yeah. So you know this is this is cricket in all its like original glory. Mm. Um, you can see you got to hold it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> should probably know that. <laughs> uh, as as in the in real cricket, you've got this kind of uh, the number of runs are determined at the start with like a a random sort of. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the physics we, have come a long way. We hadn't figured out gravity that well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, no. Oh. No, oh, hold on. Hold on. I can I keep doing it. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's how it's done. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the flying is actually pretty good in this. There we go. There we go. So, I don't know. I mean, those of you who've watched cricket, you probably know this: that like rain is a very like integral part to playing cricket. Mm. Um, there's even like there's a special like rule system about how to score in rain, and it's it's kind of it's never what anyone kind of expects. It's kind of uh, as you can see see here, it's kind of just random scores are as far as I could tell from having watched a lot of cricket, random runs are just sort of doled out uh, to whichever side the the algorithm kind of predicts. Uh, football, what's what's going on here? It's not football. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. There, there we go. go. All right. Well. And uh, historically, again, historically accurate, the, there's a, a knighting scene at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Knights of the Queen, as, as a winning cricket team does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so it got like uh, a bit more kind of complicated at some point. Uh, we, we, we fixed the gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did we? Yeah, we did. So here's like the, the second look to the game which kind of had these, these little guys and like a lot more gravity. It's actually, I think, we sort of evened the gravity out at some point. Uh, this had like absurd amounts of gravity and huge knock forces. Oh, this, th I really, I kind of. Yeah, there's I, something really great about the, yeah, the feel of this. So. I feel like we made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So you can also see we've got these kind of modes persisting through here too, things like weird you know, funky gravities and slowing down of time and rain modes and things like that. So Yeah, I mean, the, the, the big problem, there was so I used to watch my dad watch cricket a lot, like a kind of, <laughs> uh, he, he was a big cricket fan. I couldn't, I didn't really, I always felt the sport was a bit badly designed, if I'm honest. Oh, nice. Nice, you don't, yeah. Yeah. Put, um, put out. So if you, if you don't know, like a lot of cricket takes place over five days. Like they have these called test matches where you play for eight hours a day for f five consecutive days, which is this, this obscene thing. Um, and what, what made it worse is like this, this kind of made sense in, in England where like cricket started. It's like, mm. m you know, it's cloudy. It's like, you know, relatively temperate weather. But then they take the game to Australia or like, India, and then people expected to stand in the sun for. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> uh, people expected to play for for five days in the sun, um, and most of cricket is kind of really just uh, people standing around waiting for two other people to throw a ball, and that. So like that whole part of it, we kind of just said, hey, you know. I mean, I, I think there's another game in there where you kind of just play as. Oh. Yeah, no, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a <laughs> that's, that's the second version. I, I think there's a very there's a there's a game somewhere in there where you just play as a fielder standing for like eight hours, just, just waiting, yeah, and, and you maybe touch the ball once. And we did we did want to have a have a, a five day mode, and I think <laughs> at the time it actually involved playing for literally five five days like yeah. worth of time. It was a real time version. Of yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, it's like. 15 minute tea breaks. I, I mean, like, that's like a. I didn't think any of us wanted to test it, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so that's like, there's a bit more to it, but I don't know if give a, going through. I'm just going to show, like, just for the, the graphical kind of presentation. Yeah, what so, this looks so like. just for a bit of context, too, that was basically, that was, that was before this idea of cricket through the ages. It was, a, it was this, um, based off that eight hour uh, jam that Evan did, and it was, yeah, it was called cricket at the time. So it didn't have this concept of cricket through the ages. It was just. Um, uh, and didn't have snakes. Didn't have snakes, yeah. Um, Unfortunately. Uh, sorry, you're playing on that. I can play on my own. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pr probably yeah. better. <laughs> Hold on. Um, so close. Uh, but, yeah, I just wanted to go through, oh, there's no way to jump through this. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, just to kind of give an idea of where this started, and, and, and so on. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, so this this has, this is actually fairly similar in a way to the final version. Obviously, like large graphical changes, but I mean it has these sort of seven or so ages that we go through, yeah. uh, including the crab age. Um, yeah, and uh, then at some point we decided to, uh, I guess, yeah, like finish this game or like just spend a bit more time on it. That was like earlier this year. Uh, I just come off uh, genital jousting, which is like a if you don't know what general jousting is, don't look it up. Um, <laughs> the and yeah, and so we had some time uh, and kind of worked on making. So there's a whole there's a whole lot more to it here, uh, which is kind of this uh, unnecessary. Yeah, this this is what overscoping looks like, and it's yeah. in its completed form. And yeah. <laughs> Um, can we have like uh, so? What we thought we could do is just have some people like trying trying some of the rest of this. This will be like kind of one of the first times we'll be seeing people playing mm -hmm. it in like any kind of expo. And if you want to, just pick a mode and you know. Yeah, whatever sounds exciting. All right, so we need two more audience volunteers, uh, people who have not maybe played before and are dying to. Yep, over there, and one more hand, James. Yeah. And audience, do we have a mode um, that we're looking you, for? Can we hear some cheers see, for yeah. quantum cricket? Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, so the next one. Maybe, oh, maybe yeah, not okay. quantum Sorry, cricket, man. not uh, quite much cheering. So there's cricket. Ages. So the Ashes World Cup is what Ashes that cricket World was. Cup? That's, that's so sort of like actual cricket. Yeah, uh, it's a I don't hear any cheering. Go keep going, keep going. <laughs> okay. uh, nobody wants that. England Premier League. Okay. Yeah, you can see we've. A little we've bit more. Let's try one more. Uh, we got Royal Badminton. Royal Badminton. That's the one. That's popular. Okay. Should we give Royal Badminton a try? Wait, let me let me just look through all of them just in case any elicit greater cheer than that. But okay. there's World War. Wait a minute. <laughs> Quantum Cricket. Um, okay. okay, Royal okay. Badminton then. <laughs> Royal Badminton it is. I mean, we really did not think that would be the most popular. But <laughs> <laughs> I, have I have to choose a key. Uh, just just uh, pick any, like a, like a Z or something. I have picked a Z. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to do some audience Q&A nice while this goes on. Um, go ahead and raise your hand, and I'll come uh, over with the mic. Um, another point. Is, like, is the warm-up on? No, I think it's we played it already. So, so, yeah. so. <laughs> All right, we have a question here from so Chris. Has anyone ever played badminton? Yes. <laughs> okay. ah. Oh yeah. Hi guys, I have a question. We should have we should have made this game about badminton through the ages, then it mm. seems a bit more popular. There's now. always there's always room for that. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry. Question. Okay. Uh, so in the early version, there was no collision with bogies when you threw the ball. You had yeah. to like hit it, or it would go past you. What was what was the process of changing that like? And was there like a eureka moment where you so decided that's it was better that's, it would kill <laughs> that's actually players? that's actually still there um, in the in the ashes mode, which is the the sort of scoring cricket mode uh, where the ball will pass through and be able to hit the stumps. It's actually only cricket through the ages that has um, that has the, the bodies actually getting hit. Oh, and 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 quantum. Yeah. And <laughs> so so I think like originally the the ball passed through the batsman because you needed to get to the stumps, and then we kind of. Uh, a, kind of added a kind of <laughs> so th th this is this is football by the way yeah um, as as we understood the sport to be um, for the hooligans. <laughs> <laughs> so so and then at some point we allowed like a kind of the ball to be hit off the bat and hit the bowler and that was incredibly satisfying yeah. and then <laughs> that was that was sort of the fundamental like revelation about yeah. uh, cricket through the ages and that like it wasn't about trying to <laughs> be accurate and score points in any way it was just about trying to kill the other player um, which is most of history anyway I mean <laughs> you think about so yeah so that, that's that's actually sort of the fundamental difference between the modes but <laughs> hiya oh I was wondering if you could uh, each tell us who your favorite cricket player throughout definitely the not is I and I have no idea about and uh, <laughs> and just um, like a fun fact about each of them. So so I have this. Uh, I mean, so there's like a South African cricket player called John T. Rhodes, mm. and he's he was definitely my favorite at one point because there's all these. I've actually I downloaded a couple photographs on the, on, for the machine for this presentation just to kind of show off the magnificence of, of John T. Rhodes. Mm. He he was famous in South Africa for his 
uh, reckless abandon and his willingness to injure himself just to like win a game. Uh, so he had this kind of like signature move, which was kind of like Raiden's uh, Mortal Kombat dive, where he would just he would he would uh, so horizontal for a while. yeah he he would there's these, all these photographs of him just like outstretched diving towards something like, uh, like you, air tank air yeah it, it, it's it's magnificent um, and one of the things that he would do so like in cricket there's this it doesn't actually happen here but there's this thing where in order to score a run, it's a bit like, I guess, baseball. You kind of run to one side or another. And John T. Rhodes would kind of get, field the ball, pick it up, and try outrun the batsman and get to the wickets first to, like, stump him, which is just, it, it's just this kind of really obscene, like, athletic, like, yeah. dominance kind of thing that he was doing. And, but he was a nice guy. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, yeah. He, he had just had very low, like, a sense of, like, self-preservation. And that's <laughs> what I liked about him. Yeah, that's, I, I, I don't know any of them, but, <laughs> but I think that's a good answer. I'll, I'll take Evan's answer as, as mine. <laughs> Hello. I'm actually kind of curious about the sound design in the game and why you chose to go with sort of such a minimal approach to sound. And also, it sounded like when people were playing the uh, <laughs> cricket through the ages mode, it sounded like uh, certain audio tracks were based on like what the players had and like mm. sort of that random randomization and like what was the development of that process and like where did that idea come from? So, so unfortunately, Jay isn't here who did all the sound and, and was there in the original um, in the original jam. So, like, I, I mean, all of the sound has been kind of his baby. Um, I think in the the original versions of the game, we just had sort of there was no music. There was just uh, like ambience. Yeah. Um, and and then I guess he got a bit more ambitious to try to like music and um, we'd kind of uh, as you can so like I think that the musical direction kind of followed a bit what we we, we did with the artistic like the visual direction. Uh, we wanted to kind of keep things minimal. Like kind of like a uh, like a air, like a air, like an air flight safety magazine, like where you can't see the faces because you don't want to see them screaming. Yeah, um, we actually we actually tried a, a different art direction at some point that Evan's got a Evan's got an old screenshot of, which we can look at a bit later, um, which I think is which I think is quite interesting mm. because there was there was um, quite a lot of debate about about like. How, how far to abstract these characters, mm. I suppose, and how, how detailed to make them or how cartoony to make them. Um, mm. um, so, yeah. so we'd kind of wanted to, <laughs> we'd kind of wanted it to end up looking uh, in the in this kind of you you'd kind of put your uh, <laughs> you'd kind of put yourself in, in in theory like in the in the cricketer that they, they don't have a face that kind of thing, and then that's kind of a. I guess a credit card company kind of advert look, mm. and the the sound design then kind of followed that with these like abrupt, minimal kind of uh, like like sounds. Yeah. Um, trying to get like a kind of this slick and professional sounding sound palette that then in what we hoped would be the case would be kind of <laughs> like undermined completely by the fumbly, yeah. terrible physics action. Yeah, yeah, it's a sort of like hyper-realistic soundscape, yeah, and a very like minimal. Well, I mean, still, still minimal, but realistic sounds, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so, like, yeah, the, I, I guess the attempt is then to um, ha have some have some humor be derived by by the by the contrast. Yeah. We still don't know how how the royal family is going to feel about this, but um, <laughs> but we'll yeah we'll have to see. <laughs> So if you press, does he, if you press enter, does anything happen? Okay, you might have to click that in the middle there. Yeah. Oh, just hit, hit yeah, rematch. The, the rematch oh. You oh. can play again. Yeah, yeah, we just it should carry on from where you. Re rematch actually should go to the next little thing. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. There's a room full of people, and we really should be volunteering for that. It is fun. Does anyone else want to come down and have a have a try? We, we can't actually see anything as much as we yeah. were asking that uh, question. <laughs> I have a question about uh, South African game developers. So two months ago, we did like a feature in Huegos for uh, South African games, and uh, y'all are really funny. <laughs> like, yeah. why do y'all all have a very good sense of humor? Um, 
Well, wait, wait, why do we? Or, why do we? Or why don't we? I feel compelled. To why? Make why do you? Oh, God! Now there's too much pressure. I don't. I, I don't know how to answer that. Um, I don't know. That's, I think you probably have a better idea. Well, I don't. I, I, I mean, do we? Yeah, do we have a good sense of? Humor? Well, apparently, we we only. Uh, do a sense of humor. I think that was like the, the point made. It wasn't okay. necessarily that it was a good sense of humor. It's that everything is silly. I, I think that there's a lot of quite scary stuff in South Africa, um, and I think the only way to like maybe deal with that is just to try and be try and be or try and think humorously all the time and try and yeah, be funny. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we got like so. I don't know. Do, are games out of? I always kind of imagine like a lot of South Africans growing up with Blackadder and like Monty Python and like kind of British humor in that. But I, I don't know if British games are funny, so I don't know if that could actually be, I mean, if it's just the, like the British children not watch like Monty Python, I guess, or something. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. It, we definitely, I mean, uh, South Africans, we definitely have like probably a stronger <laughs> like affinity or affiliation with like British comedy than with... When probably <laughs> like that kind of diaspora effect of mm. um, kind of people who have left like an area and then kind of reminisce of it and we're really just desperately trying to impress England <laughs> yeah. to like think, think, think well of us I guess I don't know I mean, yeah yeah uh, perhaps yeah that, that could be it could be something there yeah <laughs> I don't know no we, we don't want to go back to England though. that wouldn't yeah, be good yeah. Yeah. also we can't get visas so. well I can't I don't yeah, you no one wants no, South African no one passports. Would. Basically useless. Yeah, yeah, it re it really is. <laughs> Anyone else have a question? Uh, this is more more of a comment than a question, but the snakes are really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we actually we actually like quadrupled their speed uh, in the last day or so mm. and then added new builds. That, that, that was a bug causing the snake to move like a hundred times the speed style, and we, we sort of got distressed and then thought, actually, this, this kind of looks good. Yeah, let's that's let's that's manufacture that. So this, is a, this is American uh, football, which the thing about American football is they use their hands. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't really be called football. I mean, that's just not fair to the game. <laughs> oh yeah, we want to make that magic eight ball say something. So it should probably give you a fortune oh of some kind, yeah. Man, this would be so good. <laughs> like, uh, our process for, for doing this is largely just, like, if we can think of something stupid to do with physics that requires only one button and someone spinning something wildly, <laughs> we just try to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, there's, there's actually, it's been, it's been quite fun, like, sort of iterating on this and just seeing, seeing all the different combinations and funny things we can do with the thing, like the, the one button mechanic and the same swinging sort of action. This is my favorite piece of music. Here, yeah. Which is, it's Jay, Jay went deep for this one. Yeah, like yeah. I, I think he's really channeled like m future music. Like that's, yeah. that's what it's all gonna sound like. Yeah, we might. Yeah, might be a future we we have a part in creating. <laughs> 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 Are there any modes that haven't been tried? I'm just thinking. I think we got oh, yeah. actually ashes, ashes, which yeah. is probably the one we end up spending the most time on. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, okay, question. Um, what led to the design of all the future people having no limbs or amputated limbs? Oh, but the other people <laughs> seem to have their legs and arms. Well, I mean, I don't know if you could tell, but those laser swords were chopping them off. So, uh, yeah, the um, <laughs> the, imp the implication we hoped was that uh, in the future there'd be this kind of um, like th this wasn't necessary. This was just a general sport. This isn't like extreme cricket or anything. That's just cricket in the future. Um, in which case, naturally, everyone would be like half bandaged up. Yeah, because they would still use bandages probably in the future. I mean, I think that's a, <laughs> that's a fair assumption to make. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so there is actually quite, quite a, I mean, a stupidly complex scoring system for this sort of thing. I mean, there's, you know, there's a, there's a mass of code in here that sort of just deals with weird little edge cases about scoring and weird things. I mean, al almost too much 
uh, logic to it, but it's, uh, yeah, this obviously it's not the sort of game that's, that's meant for mastery in any way, but obviously it's still fun discovering the Why? various bits of scoring and things that happen. And there is a duck somewhere in the game, too. That's what happens. Oh. We're really unlucky that it hasn't come up yet, but maybe. Oh, we did a see a duck. Oh, did you see a duck? A slower batsman. <laughs> oh, there we go. So you said that there was a game jam where you made the first version, and I'm just wondering how much time it took to get to this version. Wow. Um, so that first version was like an eight-hour uh, game jam. There was like another, uh, at some point later on, we kind of kept just picking this up. Uh, over the course of some some, some years, um, there was a couple other a couple more days spent on it, and then after um, like in Berlin, another eight-hour game jam to kind of which came up with the uh, through the ages concept, like the, the history thing, and then um, but now it's been a couple months to do all all, all the other stuff. Right? Yeah, uh, we kind of ripped the whole thing apart and, and then tried to rebuild it, which is yeah. kind of this agonizing. Yeah, Ouch, it sort of it sort of felt like the right decision at the time, but it's actually like quite yeah. tricky to try and recreate the the magically like janky physics that's of the first well one. It took us it, it, it took us a while. It's really hard to spend a lot of time doing something badly. Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <There's>, um, yeah, <laughs> the worse you need it to be, the harder harder it is you're going to spend a lot of time on it. Yeah. Um, I also sort of made the mistake of trying to make a really robust system for for making this really responsibly coded and well made, and then we just broke all of it and added loads of extra weird rules and things like that. Which, so I think it's yeah, I think it can be tricky to sort of um, try and restart this kind of thing. But it has it has allowed us to kind of make a bigger game and yeah. Yeah, I mean, better or worse. You know, I, I'm very I'm very happy that we you know spent all that time like making so much ridiculous stuff, but yeah. <laughs> Runs this over, mm -hmm. same as the last over. <laughs> There's even this kind of commentator. There's something like, oh yeah, uh, what's it like a uh, two thousand seven hundred commentary uh, files. Um, I know, like Jay, uh, as we said, Jay is ambitious. Um, I don't. Uh, that wasn't Jay's fault. Yeah, that wasn't really Jay's fault. Speech. Yeah, I know that's true. That's fair. He was that's the one fair. actually doing most of the Good work. He wouldn't have decided that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No shame. I, I, I take that back, Jay. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, it's a lot of commentary. <laughs> What are we looking like for time? Uh, I think we've still got a bit of time. Do okay, we want to get okay. some more contestants down here? Seeing what Maid said, I think. Uh, have they tried World War? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Go to Quantum. Tweet you can get the ninjas. Yeah, the ninjas. Like add some score at the start. Yeah, yeah. So we're just we're just gonna get you guys to. Uh, yeah, ninjas would be good, actually. We'll just pass it on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just pass it on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, beach, beach is good, yeah. yeah. This is like so this is beach cricket. Yeah, this is the, um, this is like a nice break from all the, the serious cricketing action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's a nation that takes cricket this <laughs> this unseriously, um, but it would be fun if there was. I mean, that looks fun. It's pool noodles and coconuts. So it's a good. <laughs> did anyone as a kid play a game called French cricket? I don't suppose. I think that was maybe just a South African thing. <laughs> yeah. It's it's kind of this lewd. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's this kind of really. I, I think it's it's ultimately kind of a strictly <laughs> superior version of cricket where you don't yeah. have all the the city kind of runs and like you just stand in one place and hit a ball, which is like the best part of cricket, really. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I think the name is meant to be insulting. I don't think it's. Yeah. I think some, whoever named it thought French people would have perverse rules. Yeah, I think we, we were speculating on the Southern Night. I think it's the kind of thing like kids would have come up with who have no kind of no filter and no mm. poli political correctness filter and kind of, yeah, just decided it was called French cricket. But yeah. Is this a form of French cricket? <laughs> this is basically French cricket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be up against their own clones next week. 
Do you guys know this old physics game called Sumatory Dreams? Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. It's not a question, it's a comment again. I'm sorry. <laughs> was it that, that was a wrestling one, right? With yeah, the, yeah, 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 that was great. That was fantastic. So the, the, the game that maybe, uh, I mean, the, the game jam in which this first happened was an uh, eight-hour jam, uh, like a two, two players, <laughs> each, each one button kind of jam. Um, oh, oh, God. <laughs> um, and the, the kind of the... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the, okay. the game we'd been thinking, or I, I'd been thinking of, was uh, oh. there's a there's a game called Soccer Physics, which is this like two button, you know, just soccer players on each side, and they kind of just kick a ball and <laughs> um, figured out like you could just spin something around with a button, and mm. that would be oh nice, and that could be fun, and that, that's this is kind of <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I think that's that's got to be the round of the. Of the talk, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of oh things no. we discover in this game that we didn't know could actually happen, which is that was yeah. that was one of them. You guys want to do one more? Uh, you can just uh, you can choose left and right. Um, are there any more questions you guys can think of? I was wondering what the single player is oh, like. Oh, yeah. Um, Probably kind of a reason we avoided that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this was always kind of imagined as a two-player game. There is a single player, um, you know, it, it, given, given the... <laughs> Uh, which was, which is kind of, it's it's the AI playing one of the other players. It's kind of there mostly as like a, a practice. Unfortunately, there's no storied single player. Although yeah. now, there was we, after we answering that question, I suddenly want to do that. <laughs> yeah, we did. We do have a, a tournament ladder in single player um, with, with oh, the yeah, like teams um, um, that you have to beat. Yeah, like mm. famous famous teams like Papplewick. Yeah, West Indies. Um, <laughs> There's a few more Cornwall the under 18s. The German Empire, I think, is one, but that's that's only in war mode. So. But um, <laughs> yeah, so um, the air, the, the sort of thing with the AI is, it's it's obviously a very rough approximation of what being good at the game would be like. Um, but obviously, the main the main downside of the single player is just not having somebody there with you to to laugh, mm. laugh at it and kind of um, have that aspect of it. So um, I mean, it's still it's still usable. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad programming. <laughs> That's my fault. Discovered the secret to war. <laughs> <laughs> well done. They're all dead now. <laughs> He's got some mad bayoneting skills there. Uh, give a, uh, there was a mode in Quantum we wanted to check out. Hey? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give, give Quantum another try. Yeah, yeah. One. yeah there's, I don't know when it's coming out. But Anytime. There's, yeah. there's so many of them. There are quite a few different weird <laughs> modes. All <laughs> hail our supreme overlords. Oh yeah, this this is one of Jay's tracks too. It's it's my favorite in the project. It's uh, really good. Why why crab people? <laughs> <laughs> well, is that is that the question? That's that's my. I finally have a question. Why <laughs> why? So I read this book called uh, A Brief History of Everything. Um, I forget the author's name, but the, so the. The, the premise kind of, well, th there's a lot of stuff in the book, but one of the things he points out was um, the only reason humans got to the point of having technology and all of these things we ha have is because something hasn't wiped us out yet. And that, like, if, if, like, a sort of species survives on Earth for a sufficiently long period of time, you know, intelligence might increase and we get civilizations and that. Fortunately, Yellowstone Park hasn't exploded yet, 
so we got to a techno- but it could have been the dinosaurs except they got extinct instead um, and we could have gotten wiped out you know any time in the last million years easily um, and we didn't fortunately but if we had something else that's smart now probably would have risen up and have you know hu- like like the earth would have been very different yeah. we'd have octopuses or indeed crabs mm. as so there's kind of it's really random chance that humans and like mammals became like the dominant intelligent species <laughs> like <laughs> you know, but but i like this idea that crabs also kind of adopted a few of the things they found lying around after our extinction like the loincloths uh so it's sort of throw back to the beginning of all mm. the time and this what what was buildings is now sort of mountainous ruins for them to play around oh. in it. yeah yeah does that answer the question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I have a question. Uh, how do you deal with, um, like, in the sequences, the actual progression? Like, how much of that is, like, thrown into the wind versus, like, keep the same characters, but now we'll swap oh, objects okay. for a bit, then we'll swap characters? Like, how did you figure that out? Um, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty random. So especially in Quantum Cricket, I mean, this, this particular mode here, apart from them being tiny, it's just picking from a list of characters and bats and just putting them together regardless of whether or not they're, they're actually usable. Um, but in other modes, they're, yeah, sorry. Do so you I mean, th- th- yeah. this is all like a bit, I think Quantum Cricket is a little bit of like a, a play on Brockian Ultra Cricket from Hitchhiker's Guide. Um, and there is, in fact, one of the modes where just a whole bunch of balls drop from the ceiling and you're expected to play, which is <laughs> kind of weird. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I, so I think as soon as you've, you're making a game of a cricket, you, you kind of need to make the, the, the Brockian ultra cricket version of it. Yeah, so, and the, this, this is basically just a completely indulgent, like, we can, so we should mentality. Um, <laughs> Uh, th- this part is yeah. So so other other parts of the the ages and things where you swap like ver- like winds and snakes and things like that. There is a little bit of logic to that, but yeah. within the within the particular age, it's the same. It's it's, it's randomish. Well, I mean, I I, yeah. I tend to think that's exactly how things did and and yeah, will unfold. Yeah, um, yeah. I stand by it. Yeah. It's. I mean, there were definitely at least that many snakes in the world <laughs> to throw around. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is T-Rex's <laughs> butting heads before they're able to kill each other, which is I think something we we read mm. somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So so with this particular mode, every e- every rematch gets a new what we basically just what we call a challenge here, and it's just I mean it's anything but a challenge, but it, it is it is two characters and two sets of um, <laughs> bats and balls. Um, <laughs> Oh, that's coming down. Oh. oh, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, it disappeared. I like that it's accidentally breakdancing also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Are there any qu- questions? It's all pretty straightforward, I guess. Ninjas, yeah. <laughs> so there's a button you can press. Oh yeah, you tap. Oh <laughs> oh <laughs> once both ninja stars have been released, you can, you can each yeah. swap once. Yeah, you can you can tap to swap side. <laughs> I think this is the most strategic the game gets at any point. Or, or, or yeah, I think we think it's strategic. <laughs> Uh, so for the art style um, I noticed a little bit of shadowing over the parts that are over the other parts Uh, what is the idea behind the I don't know the visual design is it kind of like 
um, construction paper. It kind of looks that way. Yeah, sort of. Sort of. We we've had a few a few variations of the art style that that looked a bit more like that, and I don't think we wanted to go too much in that mm. direction. Um, but it actually it actually sort of started. I don't know if I should be revealing this, but it started because Evan built all the <laughs> characters out of. 3D cubes, and they sort of using something called ambient occlusion. They cast a bit of a natural shadow on one another, mm -hmm. and we quite like that look. So when we when we rebuilt it, we tried to recreate that a little bit to give it that sort of layered. Yeah, there w there w there w there'd been like a an actual credit card company <laughs> advert that we'd looked at, and kind of just thought, you know, let's try and make it look as serious and like um, uh, like. <laughs> Expensive, kind of in a sort, sort of, of slick, yeah. yeah, as slick as we could, because that would be really stupid given given the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well done, guys. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, it's a boring one. Oh, I just, I just wanted, yeah. I wanted to defeat you as horses. Oh yeah, yeah. Hop across. Let's see. Okay, so. This horse, is, horse is the last one. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got the laser, laser, laser queen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, you guys, thank you so much. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Well, yeah. Thanks for us. yeah. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did they have? Okay, sure. The, sure. The golden mace. Okay. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, while the queens are murdering each other with various items, uh, we still have uh, sign-ups for Samurai Gun Two uh, tournament, which is tonight at eight p.m. Uh, and uh, we've still got about probably half the bracket open, so if you want to uh, get a hold of that game early and stab or yeah, shoot good. several people in all likelihood, uh, this is the place to do it. Um, all hail our supreme overlord, ten There we go, okay. For family feudalism. Yeah, this was... This was the, the final mode. This is our second game today with horsies. I'm feeling <laughs> really good about this part. Uh, big thank you to our sponsors this year who made this all possible, who are, are at least partially responsible for this being on the screen. Uh, Unreal Engine, Devolver Digital, Wigos Rancheros, that's kind of the uh, organizers and curators of the event here. Uh, Ugly Machine, which is our amazing photographer. Uh, NVIDIA, who brought us those ludicrous computers. Annapurna Interactive, 22nd Century Toys, Panic Button, Farcade, and Alchemy Labs, who are all right here in Austin. Uh, there's Finji, Red Hook, and then we have um, some amazing prizes from Toy Joy and Mondo. And then we're also hosted by this incredible venue, the Alamo Draft House. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, so that ends our uh, block. We're going to take a moment to, if you haven't already uh, paid your tab, please uh, please make sure you do that and tip your hardworking wait staff. But we are going to start clearing out of the uh, theater to uh, let our servers clean up. 